since I took you guys upstairs and you saw my overflow like storage pantry, I thought I would take you along while I clean out my freezers today so that you can kind of see what we keep in there and also um, just how I kind of organize it and how even though we have two chest freezers which are like the worst freezers ever when it comes to like knowing what you have and keeping everything organized I just wanted to show you guys kind of how I know what I have at all times and then just how I keep it organized so we are starting out in my like storage closet downstairs this is where obviously our hot water heater is this is not a pretty space by any means but it does suit really really well for having a chest freezer in it so we have um, our bigger chest freezer in our storage space right here and then we have another one that is really just out in the open um, I really thought it would bother me since it's not like pretty but it's white so it just kind of blends in and so I don't mind having it out there but we're gonna start in here and this is the one that we keep most of our meat in Okay, so we have been going through, it's hard to see me, uh, there we go, okay, so we have been going through a few different months of kind of eating our, through our pantry and our freezers, and we have eaten down quite a bit, this actually uh, was a lot more full with just meat. Uh, I have some other things in here right now which I need to kind of reorganize which is why I'm doing this today. Um, but I do need to see what all we have left because I w got really lax on keeping track of everything uh, just because we were trying to get through as much as we could. So that's not really a great excuse but it's what happened. So now I need to go through and reorganize everything. So the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to take everything out of here and everything that doesn't belong in this freezer will immediately get taken out of this room and taken to my kitchen so that I will know to put it in the other freezer when I start cleaning it out. I do prefer to keep the ice cream in this freezer as well. Uh, it's just, it's stays away from everything else so <laughs> I don't mind that so this is our ice cream and meat freezer I guess um, so we have a couple of little ice creams not a ton okay so I set up on the floor back behind me some baskets and as I pull everything out I am going to go ahead and sort them into baskets that are going to go back into the freezer when I'm done so we have some Italian sausage I'm gonna put all of our pork products together and we have a lot of uh, chicken. So I bought this chicken and then I brought it home and I vacuum sealed it myself so it'll last a lot longer. So I will look through all of this stuff and see if it is still good. And if it is, then obviously I will keep it. Um, if it's not, if I can see that it's freezer burned, which this looks fine, um, but if I can see that it's freezer burned, then we will just immediately get rid of that. I also have a lot of like weird cuts of beef um, that were just from like parts of cows. You can't really see me, can you? Um, so I also have a lot of like weird cuts of beef that were just from cows that people had purchased and they had given to us some friends, my sister. Um, and so I am going to pull all of these out and if there are things I am going to do with them, then I will set them aside and I will figure out how to use them. But if it's something that I'm not going to use, we will either find a new home for it um, or we will feed it to our animals because I don't want it to go to waste, but I also don't want it to take up any space in my freezer. We have several roasts, um, which I need to kind of start cooking through a little bit, so I need to take note of that. Okay, so I am going to clean up. We have a, uh, a ice cream spill right there. Uh, I am going to clean that up, and I am also going to kind of chop away at some of this ice that is right here. So the bottom layer, I like to put my whole chickens. Um, they just kind of make a good base layer for me. And then underneath here, I just have a bunch of ground beef. So, so that's what that is. And then right here, I have, right now I have some extra pieces of just random pieces of meat that we have, uh, and then string cheese, and then I also like to keep some, I have some ground sausage in there, and then I have some lunch meat in there. So this is just kind of where I, this little basket right here is great, it's just kind of where I can keep some odds and end pieces, things that might get like kind of lost. So these cuts of meat, I want to either use first 
or find a new home. So I am going to put these right here for right now, and then I am going to put the rest of the stuff back in here after I kind of clean it up a little bit. I did end up with a small pile, not a ton of stuff, but a small pile of stuff that needs to go into our other freezer because this is all fruits and vegetables. Now, if I clean out the other freezer and realize that I do not have enough space for it in there, I don't have a problem sticking it back in here. I just like to keep like things together when at all possible. So uh, any of the produce that I can stick in the other freezer, I absolutely will. And then I have my baskets full of my meat. So this one is all pork products. I have um, a pork loin and some bacon and some sausage in that one. This one is all like roast. I think there's like one steak in there too. And then this is all just boneless, skinless chicken breast. So we, we use a lot of boneless, skinless chicken breast, but a lot of these um, I didn't even know that I had, honestly. So I am excited to be able to use them. But we have a lot of meat, which is why if you look at our grocery haul, we aren't buying a lot of meat because we already had a lot. All right, I got it cleaned up and chipped some of the ice away. I really need to defrost this freezer, but I do not have time to do that today. So I chipped away en enough of the ice to where it's not like hindering what I have. Uh, and then the next step before I actually put everything back in here is really for me the most important step of keeping everything organized. And that is writing down what I actually have. And that's gonna help me um, in a couple of ways. First, it's gonna help me just to stay organized, to know what I have in here. Um, but then second, it's going to help me when I meal plan. I won't have to actually come to my freezer and like look through it to see what all I have. I can look at my list and know exactly what I still have available in here. And it's just going to make meal planning that much easier. So I'm going to go through and write everything down and then I will start putting some stuff back in my freezer. Now with the boneless skinless chicken breast, I don't count these individually um, just because we, we usually will use more than one for a meal. Um, and so I just kind of count how many, about how many meals I think we're gonna be able to get out of what we have here. So like one of these will be a meal, so that's easy to count. But if I have like a bag of this, I just kind of look and see how much I have in here. And I think we can probably get three meals um, out of this bag of chicken. So now that I have it all written down, I can put it all back in my meat freezer and kind of see how much space we have left in there. Okay, so once I started putting some stuff in here, I have my pork in here. I realized that I have a lot of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So I actually am going to just fit them down in the bottom and I will show you what it looks like, uh, what I'm talking about. But I am just going to kind of fit all of that down in the bottom and try to use my basket that I had that in for something else. Okay, so then all of that extra little pieces of meat that I didn't know what I was gonna do with, I have plenty of room to put those right on top as well as the rest of my ice cream. So I am going to do that and then I will move on to the, my next freezer. Okay, so we're done with our meat freezer and now I am going to move on to our produce and like kind of other stuff freezer, I guess. Uh, and this one is just kind of out, our kitchen's right there. So it's just kind of available to get stuff out of really easily. When we built our house, we knew we were going to build a barn. And so we were anticipating putting both freezers out into our barn. And then once we actually started living in our house and realized that, especially when it's like winter time, we don't want to trek all the way to the back of our property to go get something out of a freezer, we just kind of became okay with it being right here. Um, so I know that it's probably not like, the most Pinterest worthy thing ever, but I don't mind having it right here. Like I said, it's white, just like my curtains, just like my walls. Um, so it just kind of flows for me. We use the top for um, like a shelf to put stuff on a lot of times. It's, it's where we store like some of the kids' toys. Um, it doesn't look bad to me, so I don't mind at all having it, but mostly it's just really, really useful having it right here. And so while we're getting that use out of it, I'm gonna keep it right here, so I'm totally cool with that. Um, but it does definitely need to be organized a little bit better. I actually am not even sure what is in here. Um, we have done a really poor job of like keeping track of everything in this freezer specifically because stuff comes in and out so frequently. And so I definitely need to get in here and uh, write everything down and kind of organize everything and see if there's anything that maybe needs to get out. 
So this is, like I said, this is our produce freezer. So we have a lot of like frozen fruits and vegetables in here, which I use a lot in my cooking. Um, and so I want to keep all of that stuff in one place. So having a produce freezer is super, super handy for that. Um, so we have some peas and I have those same baskets um, will fit also in this freezer, actually either direction, which is really handy. So I am going to put all of my fruits in one basket. Um, I'm going to attempt to and then put all of the vegetables in another. Uh, we'll see as we go through. That may work, that may not work because we have a lot of frozen fruit in here right now. So uh, I, that's, but that's my plan right now. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so we have um, peas, we have raspberries. I keep yeast in here as well. Um, I still have some frozen biscuits that we need to get through. Um, I have peaches from our other freezer. I did bring that stuff over. We have a bunch of frozen carrots. We have uh, frozen mangoes. We have strawberries and we have blueberries. Um, I have a big five pound thing of frozen pineapple. We have a lot of like tater tots and french fries. So we use a lot of these for like lunches um, to have like something warm to go maybe with a sandwich for lunch. So we have a lot of these in here that I'm going to have to figure out how to organize. Um, this is uh, raspberries. We, I, did, I did a big a five pound package from Aldi, I'm not, I'm sorry, not Aldi, from Azure um, on the raspberries and they kind of melted before we were able to get them in our freezer. So now as we use them, we kind of have to just chunk them off with a knife, which is not ideal, um, but we really, really still love the taste of these raspberries, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Um, these strawberries have seen better days, so we're gonna get rid of those. Carrots. Um, I also have a lot of cheese and butter in here, but I want to move my cheese freezer to be the freezer that is underneath my refrigerator. So all of the cheese that I have in here is going to come out. We have, um, these are chicken eggs. It says chicken on the package, but we have frozen eggs, and I'm not sure where I'm gonna put these. If I don't have room for them in this freezer, I don't mind putting them in my meat freezer because it is a protein, so we'll see. We have frozen oranges. When we see that our oranges are starting to go bad, um, this is one way that I like to preserve them, is I will, uh, will peel them and segment them and put them in the freezer, and then we use these in smoothies instead of like orange juice, and we get fiber from it, but it also gives us the vitamin C. And I can already see that my fruit basket is too full, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Uh, this is a filling that I made for ravioli, so I am going to put this in with my cheese. The summer sausage from Azure is really good, and I did not know I had another one, so I'm pretty excited to stick that in my refrigerator and have this for lunches this week. Oh, the butter. I have a lot of butter. Um, I switched to the Rumiano butter, and so we haven't been using this as much, but I still use the, um, I guess, what are they, eight ounce? They must be, four ounce. Um, four ounce sticks for baking, and so I keep them in my freezer just because they store a lot longer that way, um, and they all just go under this basket right here, uh, and so I'm not gonna pull these out, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in there, um, but I do need to count them and see how many I have when I'm all finished. And then I have more Italian sausage that I didn't realize that I had before I went grocery shopping today. So this is why we do this. It's a bad move. Some tamales, these are all put together but they're not cooked. And this sounds really, really good for dinner tonight. So I think I might pull these out. We are doing a, uh, we're doing a soup for dinner tonight. But I think that having the tamales to go along with it will replace having to make any kind of a bread. So this sounds really good. Mushroom. Mushrooms freeze super well, so it's one of those things that I like to buy in bulk and then keep in my freezer, and then they're really easy to cook up from frozen. These chopped onions need to go to the top. I love to get a lot of onions all at once and go ahead and pre-chop them and put them in the freezer. That way, whenever I am cooking, I can just pull some out of the freezer and I don't have to worry about chopping onions. 
that is like my most hated thing to do in the kitchen. And so doing it once, getting all those tears out that I need to get out, and then uh, not having to worry about it again for a while is super helpful. So having chopped onions in my freezer is always a must. Duck eggs, really good scrambled eggs, but they also are super good for baking because they are a lot more uh, rich, which I really enjoy. Anytime I'm making like a cake or something, to do duck eggs instead of chicken eggs, it makes such a good final product. Um, some more cheese. Frozen spinach is another one that I really like to keep in the freezer. Um, I buy this in bulk and then freeze it myself. In the end, it saves me a lot more money than buying it pre frozen some green beans. So I have most of this out of here. I am going to pull all of the like tater tots and the hash browns and all of that out, check the dates on them, see how I'm doing on those. And then from there, I will just kind of start throwing the things back in here and reorganizing a little bit. I did overrun my <laughs> fruit and my vegetable basket. So I may go ahead and skip out on the baskets for in here and use them somewhere else in my house. Um, again, they're not gonna go to waste, so I'm not worried about that. But uh, I'm not certain that having them in here is going to work, so we'll just have to kind of see. I have everything kind of figured out, I think, a little bit how I am going to put it all back in there. So while I am kind of in the process of putting it all back together, I'm gonna to start writing down. Now, I am separating out what I have in my meat freezer versus what I have in this freezer. This is gonna help me in the long run stay a little bit better organized, and so I am going to start writing everything down and putting everything back in so that I kind of know where everything's at. Specifically in this freezer, anything that I have that's kind of just half open, I will stick um, either in the little basket if I have space for it or just on top. That is just going to save me a ton of heartache in the end because uh, it means that anything that is already opened is going to get you. So any of the fruit that I have multiples of, I am putting on the very bottom just because that's obviously the hardest to kind of get to. Um, but I am still making sure that I write down how many I have of everything so that whenever I finish what's on top, I can look at my list and know, okay, I still have some down at the bottom. I don't need to go buy anymore. I love the basket method because I know that my vegetables are below the fruits, um, but I know that I'm going to need to get to those vegetables. So it just makes it easier to just pull the whole basket out rather than pulling out individual things one by one. Okay, and then from there, I'm gonna put things like the tortellini and the stuff that I have that needs to get used first, my yeast, that kind of stuff, just right on top. Okay, and now I have everything in this freezer done, so I need to put all of the stuff that is from my meat freezer that I pulled out of this one into my meat freezer and make sure I have it written down. My last freezer, the one that gets cycled through the absolute most, is the one at the bottom of my refrigerator. Um, I'm sure that that's probably true for most people, but this is the one that I keep the most stuff in that is just stuff that we use on just an everyday basis for the most part. Um, and so I am going to pull all of this out, see what's still good, organize it into my other freezers, and then try to fit all of the cheese that I just pulled out of my produce freezer into this one. So I still have a lot of produce in this I still have a lot of produce in this freezer, so I am going to have to pull this out and figure out either if it is still good, and if it is, um, put it in my produce freezer. So make sure that I have that on my list of things that I have in there. So I think in the end, I'm going to end up having more space in here than I thought. So there are a few things that I have been keeping in other freezers that I am going to keep uh, maybe in here. So I am going to move all of my tortellini into this freezer rather than keeping it in my produce freezer uh, Just to have easier access But again just to make sure that I'm keeping like the like things together as much as possible Okay, so here's a really good example of keeping all of my like stuff together. So I have tons well, not tons, but I have several different things of this cheese from Aldi this size. Uh, and so I am trying to keep all of that in one spot just because it's easier to stay organized if it's all together. So I do have it kind of separated by kind of cheese, um, but 
just keeping that size together is really helpful. Okay, so that one's finished and I am just going to gather all of the things that I pulled out of this freezer that goes in the other ones and then I will show you what I do with my list that I have everything written down on. So after I finished cleaning out all three freezers, this is all that I had, just this tiny little pile of stuff that wasn't good anymore. And so I feel really good about that. Our freezers are super full and well organized and there was very little waste and I am going to show you exactly how I get away with that. All right, we're back in this beautiful room. Okay, so now that I have my uh, freezers all cleaned out and organized and I have my list of everything that is in each one, I am going to, on the one that just, I only do this on the one that is in my um, like closet just because I don't want it, I feel like it's gonna look messy if I do it in the rest of the house. Um, I'm gonna take a dry erase marker and I am just going to put my list of things that I have written that are in this freezer specifically and I'm just going to write it on the top. And then as we use things up, I will just take a dry erase marker again. I'll erase whatever number I have written by it and then write the new number down. And then the other great thing about having it written right here is that I am not the only one that can check it. So at any point if I am at the store and I am wondering hey how how many whole chickens do I have? I can call anybody in my house and they can just come in here and look and know exactly. Nobody has to rifle through the freezer to find anything. They can just look right here. So it's really handy. So that's how I keep everything organized in this freezer. In my other two freezers, I have a page in my planner that I have made that uh, I just have kind of a running tally of everything that we have in our house. So that's going to help me build up a long-term food storage pantry, um, but it's also just going to help me stay really organized to know everything that I have and it's going to make meal planning easier, it's going to make cooking easier, all of that is just going to be a lot easier if I have right in front of me exactly what I have all the time. That's it, that's how I organize my freezers. It definitely makes my life easier uh, and run a lot smoother if I know everything that I have and it is just at a glance, I can see it. Um, especially if you have chest freezers, uh, upright freezer might be a little bit easier to organize but chest freezers are notoriously difficult uh, and so I want to make sure that I have them organized as well as I possibly can. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that that helped and I will see you guys next time.